Strengthening women's leadership is even more urgent in a COVID-19 world. Evidence shows that women and girls are bearing the brunt of the pandemic, potentially jeopardizing decades of progress on gender equality. This is why WHO has stressed the need to ensure a gender sensitive COVID-19 response. We need to ensure women's seat at the table at all levels in COVID-19 policymaking and implementation. In Thailand, we have seen women's leadership at the community level, where they have served as an active network of community health volunteers in dealing with the pandemic. A key issue is the crucial role of health workers, 70% of whom are women. Health workers are in the front line of efforts against COVID-19, despite facing significant risks. WHO has called for ensuring their safety from infection and protection from discrimination, stress and burnout. Women and girls are facing increased violence while shouldering increased unpaid work burdens in homes, including health care for sick family members. Their economic work is the most insecure and unprotected. These issues need to be addressed. Gender sensitive government policies that protect the well being of women are needed today. Women and girls need to be placed at the center of all government decisions and policies. The pandemic has seen a disruption in key non-COVID related health services. WHO is supporting all countries in the region to ensure the continuity of sexual and reproductive health services as essential and to thereby defend the region's many health gains. Ultimately, we need to change mindsets, both at the individual and organizational level.